Hi guys, this is the third variation of linear convolution. Here we'll be using the important property in digital signal processing that is convolution in time domain is equal to multiplication in frequency domain. The same property we'll be using here and we'll be finding the linear convolution between two sequences. So as always in first line we'll clear all the command window output and the previous data and from line 4 we'll ask user to give input as first sequence and second sequence stored in x and h line 8 and 9 will take down the length of sequence x and h in lx and lh in line 12 we'll give the span 0 1 and lx minus 1 that is n should move from 0 to lx minus 1 in the span of 1 and first we'll plot the input sequence in subplot 2 comma 3 comma 1 and 2 comma 3 comma 2 and here we are using stem for discrete representation then we have to find linear convolution using DFT and IDFT first we'll find DFT by using FFT inbuilt function provided by MATLAB so x equals FFT of x in p points p is calculated by LX plus LH minus 1 that is p equals to the number of output points so we got FFT of X and we'll plot the same in subplot 2 comma 3 comma 3 then we'll find the FFT of H sequence that is our second sequence in P points that is represented by line 24 and we'll store in capital H the same we'll plot using subplot 2 comma 3 comma 4 the thing x and h will use for multiplication y equals x into star h we are using star here for term by term multiplication as we know that matlab follows matrix multiplication we'll use star for term by term multiplication and we'll plot the multiplied sequence in frequency domain we have to know that in convolution two time domain sequence are convoluted to get output in time domain so now we have got the multiplication in frequency domain if we use IFFT that is inverse fast Fourier transform of sequence Y we will get the convoluted signal in time domain so we will use Y equals IFFT of Y in line 29 the same thing will plot using subplot 2 comma 3 comma 6 with stem n comma y 7 points of y signal the same thing will check with our output so we'll run the code in command window it will ask us to enter the first sequence we'll give 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 press enter it will ask for second sequence we'll take it 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 2 then press enter after pressing enter it will show the values if you use semicolon it will not show the values so the same values will be plotted in graph in graph first signal and second signal are the input signal which we have given and the third and fourth figure shows the DFT of first signal and second signal and when we multiply we get the fifth graph after using